Once you grasp this truth that I'm about to tell you, it'll set you free from religion, it'll set you free from parents and moms and family and governments and police, everybody, it'll set you free. And it's simply this, you are divine. God has exploded in a crab nebulae explosion and he has come and manifested himself as billions of people. And you're one of them, and so am I. When I look at you, I see God. When you look at me, you see God. That's why God's name is I Am. I Am God. It doesn't mean that me, God, it means I Am. When you say I Am God, you have to say, what is God's name? I Am. What? I Am God. Oh, my God, that all the people, Christians run around. Oh, I told you they think they're God. I don't think anything on the side. No, Jesus Christ said. The scripture says you are God, and the scripture cannot be broken. So he said it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like a third album. Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, we are going to be discussing Saturn going direct. I'm just saying, finally, because... <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I did already post horoscopes for Saturn moving direct. So if you want to know how this will be affecting you personally, you can go to my IG page and check that out. I will check your um, sun, moon, and rising for a full story. The sun is you, your personality, uh, your work and career life. Um, your rising sign is you, yourself, your body, and how you're changing overall and uh, how you show up to people. And then the moon is your emotions, home and family matters, and things of that nature. So Saturn goes direct at zero degrees on Saturday. That's tomorrow. It's returning to where it was in March of 2023 um, of this year. Um, this is an opportunity to begin again with higher intentions that truly supports who you are now. This is a good time to look at what you need to do over with more maturity and responsibility. So think back to March to see, you know, what was going on for you? Now that Saturn is direct, Saturn will be applying pressure, um, especially to anybody with Saturn in Pisces in their natal chart, but also to all the mutable signs that's Pisces, Sag, Virgo, and Gemini. You guys will feel this the most. Um, this is a time to approach something different. Trust yourself. Learn how to say no, put up boundaries, and don't drain your energy. On the world stage, we can see shortages um, in medications, limitations in recreational drugs, um, shared goods, limitations in shared goods, disruptions in import and export, because Pisces um, is ruled by Jupiter, ancient, um, and ancient astrology, or, you know, it's co-ruled, we'll say that, right? And so you have to take into consideration of still what's going on with Jupiter and Taurus. Um, we will see things unfolding more with Saturn moving direct now. And so this can be disruptions in import, export, more about borders, um, immigrants, immigration, um, things going on in other countries, um, morals, ethics, uh, culture here, our culture here in America and how that's changing or not changing for that matter. Um, this could also be things around college, education, um, YouTube, uh, YouTubers, bloggers, pretty much all the platforms like this where you can record stuff and put up there. Um, public speaking, publishing, 
um, religious matters and spirituality and our worldview. So keep those things in the back of your mind that whatever's going on with Jupiter and Taurus is also being affected by Saturn and Pisces. Um, and then Neptune has been in Pisces for quite some time and they're kind of on the same page because Pisces rules the same thing. Um, and Neptune is the second co-ruler of Pisces. Um, we can also see delays with shipping. So like your mail, even if it is just across the states, there can be um, delays with that, especially because at the end of November, Mercury is going to go in shadow to get ready to station um, to go retrograde. I believe it'll be retrograde in Sag, but don't quote me on that. Uh, either way, um, that's going to add more delays to shipping and Christmas time and gift giving and all that fun stuff that we love so much. <laughs> and because, um, again, Jupiter is in Taurus, we might be getting things that are more um, practical, more practical gifts, uh, first and foremost, but also um, this could be a lot more celebrations than even gift giving. Um, just uh, agreeing to come together as a family and things of that nature. I do think or foresee that there'll be financial issues where people might not even be able to do a lot of stuff with the um, inflation and prices rising and, and all that stuff. Um, but Overall, I think this is going to be a more family-oriented type of Christmas than more than anything. Um, yeah. Overall, we're being asked to embrace diversity, especially with all the immigration issues. And I'm pretty sure with the war going on and people coming here, there have already been a lot of laws. That's another Jupiter rule theme, by the way. I forgot that one. Um, and regulations that have changed in reference to other people coming here for, um, you know, some kind of safety and support and all that stuff. And so I do foresee there being a lot of issues coming up with that and more shortages coming up because of that. Um, so that'll be interesting to see play out. Saturn rules politics, large corporations, older people in power. So I definitely do think that this is a fight, a battle that we will see for older people not wanting to give up their power, um, especially with Pluto being in Capricorn. Um, Capricorn rules, is ruled by Saturn. And so I definitely think that we're going to see them really turning up the heat when it comes to rules, regulations, um, because, you know, the, a lot of these systems are failing and they don't want to lose power. And so they're going to stop implementing and putting things in place to make it harder for people to grow and evolve, which we are doing and are going to continue doing, even if it doesn't seem like that right now in this moment. And I talked a lot about that in my Pluto and Aquarius video, if you want to go back and check that out. But we'll be talking about it either way as time goes on. Um, but I do kind of foresee a, um, and I'll go over this in the, in the Scorpio video, a police state. Um, I do see that coming, unfortunately. Um, Saturn also rules institutions, groups, your public persona, social events. Saturn's our physical world. It rules time, how we handle life and what we need to take care of, um, how we structure our life, how we realize what we need to feel productive and accomplish. And now that it's direct, it's time to take care of business and be responsible. This is where we need to go. We might need to go it alone in our own way. We can be asking how can we improve to excel through hard work and applying yourself. 
Um, remember things take time to develop. So try not to be so hard on yourself on the lower expression of Saturn. This can be very depressing if you feel like you're not moving forward or haven't accomplished anything and it's just not real. And so you're going to have to fill that time and with more things to do like self-care. We're talking about Pisces here. Pisces is about rest, sleep, and rejuvenating your body, your, yourself. In that way, even some kind of spiritual practices and whatever kind of beliefs you have, you know, taking time to do that, um, spending time with family, um, doing something for yourself. Like instead of complaining about what's not working, take this time to reflect and think on the things that are working well. Congratulate yourself for accomplishing those things and get in the habit of doing those during down times, right? Because Saturn does rule time. And nine times out of 10, if something isn't working, it's something astrologically that can be explained. But also this is Saturn's way of saying, okay, I see you take a break, you know, give yourself a hand. Um, Pat yourself on the back, do something fun and things like that. Um, um, you will reap the rewards and see how things come to fruition or whatever your manifestations are come the next six months from now. Um, for sure, you will definitely start to see um, all the hard work paying off um and and some people they can be seeing a lot of stuff now um but you do have the next six months for this to un unfold and and play out um saturn wants you to own your authority uh respect those in authority listen to those who have more authority than you those who know the ropes, like mentors, guides, teachers, financial coaches, coaches, trainers, um, maybe doing some like boxing stuff, um, you know, you know, whatever it is that's being asked of you to work on or educate yourself more in, um, um, Saturn is going to be saying, hey, look, you don't know what to do, ask for help. Um, and you'll start to, again, it'll feel like pressure, you know? So if you're not learning and applying what you learned, if you're not committed to something, Saturn is about being committed, um, things can get challenging and they will, it, like that pressure, you'll feel it. Trust me, you will feel it. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about if you don't already, which I find really hard to believe um because you start to feel any transit at least three days before it lasts usually three days after because saturn is a bit a bit bigger transit i see you feeling this really until um the scorpio new moon that we're about to have and then the energy will kind of die down but then you have the mercury retrograde it's in sagittarius it is a little bit softer even though it's in detriment um i still feel like energetically the pressure will kind of release um so keep that in mind too um, this can be how we use our job skills, what we want to be better at, how we want to be recognized and grow on the road ahead. We will become more ambitious and strategic now that Saturn is direct. You'll be more motivated to do stuff. Um, Pisces rules things that disappear, secrets, things that are mysterious, things that are unexplored, fear, phobias, hospitals, things that are invincible, um, medication, pharmacies, churches, monasteries, um, any kind of religious places covered by Pisces as well as Jupiter uh, or Sag. Um, it, Pisces rules God, spirituality, hotels, nighttime mistakes, gas stations, drugs, addictions, alcohol, healers, photographers, cameras, false things that are false or counterfeit, forgery, things that are vague, foggy, 
uh, lack of clarity, lack of direction, lack of vision, um, research labs, oceans or bodies of water, fish, fishermen being withdrawn and escapism. Pisces is about closure, endings, false starts. Um, you could have even felt like you were being tested while Saturn was um, retrograde. You might have feel, felt like things are falling apart. You might have had a lot more fear than normal um, or comfort and not wanting to move, make moves or do things, um, not feeling safe, um, not trusting, worried, stress, uh, feeling lost. Uh, feeling consequences, sacrifice, sacrificing for something, grief. I think grief with the Scorpio new moon coming up is that theme might grow. Um, but it's important to keep in mind that after the grief comes transformation with time, right? And so again, this is just a reminder to be gentle with yourself as you're moving through this energy because it is heavy. Um, I do think again, now that Saturn's direct, you know, you'll get more answers and solutions to things, but, um, yeah, uh, Pisces also rules compassion, empathy. I do feel like, um, for empathic people, this Saturn direct might, might hit you a little bit harder than most other people. And just to broaden that spectrum, People who are givers, who are naturally helpers or want to um, do things for others, right? Because Pisces also rules like volunteering and giving away stuff and um, things of that nature. I think that we might not have much support here, depending on if you're doing the work. It's really going to depend on where you are um, on your spiritual journey. But I really feel that the people who usually do like um, volunteer to give service back during the holidays and what this season tends to usually be about, I really don't think we're going to have a lot of that kind of support this time around. Or it'll be very little because this Pisces and, and, and um, Saturn energy is really, really, really going to challenge you to find more reciprocal um, uh, relationships and things that you involved yourself with when it comes to your energy and how you feel during doing those things. And if you are not taking care of yourself to be able to give back, um, you're going to find you don't have the energy. So this isn't like be about being mean or disrespectful or like, fuck people, I don't want to give back. No, but a real big wake up call that if you're not a part of something or giving your energy something that gives you back, people are going, going to lack energy to, to want to give to others. Um, Pisces also rules victim mentality. I think people like that are going to be really caught. Saturn's getting ready to call y'all out. Um, people who have this victim mentality, woe is me. Something's always happened to me. Um, I don't deserve this. I deserve better. Um, these things are going to come up like, you know, really, really, really when it comes to how you um, structure your life to get what you want out of life. Are you asking the right questions? Are you going to the right people for help? Are you learning and challenging yourself to find answers on your own? Um, are you willing to pay for services that'll help you? Going back to the teachers, the um, um, you know, trainers and things of that nature. Saturn's gonna be like, I really don't care if you think that this shouldn't be happening to you. What are you doing to fix your life? holding you accountable for that and adding pressure to make you move and make changes. Um, Saturn rules disempowerment, duality. This is very karmic, extremely karmic energy um, that you will have to deal with, good or bad. Remember, karma doesn't, it's not all bad. It's good and bad. 
And so what spectrum are you on? Because you're going to get it. Trust me, you will get it. <laughs> and if you don't know, you have to find out. Um, Pisces rules um, um, life lessons, healing, surrendering the ego, um, and divine timing. And as bad as all that seems, the really beautiful thing about this is that you've learned something. We've, we've now moved through the first seven degrees of Pisces. And so really sitting down and thinking like, okay, what did I learn from Saturn being in retrograde? Most likely it's wherever you felt lazy or comfortable enough to not work on something. <laughs> but again, did you fill it with self-care? Did you fill it with, you know, taking baths, taking walks, taking care of your health? You know, what did you do with that downtime to, um, you know, to pass time? In, in whatever way that that means for you, you know, um, <clears throat> because Saturn is going to be like, what did you learn that you can do better? There was somewhere where you felt like things fell apart. Why? Why did they fall apart? And so you'll be asked to release your expectations on a person, place and experience. Um so that spirit can bring in something even better. You'll be asked to be flexible, adaptable, adjust without worrying, disconnect from <clears throat> what you think things should look like and trust that that's the right thing. So trusting in your intuition or your spirit guides or whatever spiritual practices you are and knowing that you're doing the right thing and that when it's meant to come through, it'll come through. Or however it looks is however it was meant to be, right? Um, you'll have the opportunity for growth um, through socializing, um, resting, again, self-care, and focus on your vision, where you're going. Um, Saturn is all about setting goals, just period. And I'm not just talking about business goals none of that. What do you want for your family? What do you want for you? What do you want for the next five years, two years, three years, six years, seven years, 10 years? This is that five-year, 10-year plan type of stuff. Saturn is going to hold you accountable to, first and foremost, um, planning further than just, you know, next week, um, even though that's important. But what's the bigger picture? And what are the micro steps that you're going to take to get to that bigger picture, right? Um, we are learning how to exchange ideas, connect with other people, and protect your energy. Uh, we are learning to uh, rebuild and implement the lessons that we've learned through discipline, structure, and systems, um, which, you know, just to be quite frank, I use business analogies a lot because business is all about systems and structure. And so, again, going back to if you go to work every day, what is that process? You know, the time you get up, how you set your your do you set an alarm clock? Um, how you treat the people when you're there? What's your organizational plan to getting your work done? Are there some of those things you can pull from that as a system that you can do when you're at home or for whatever other goals that you have that you want to work towards, right? And so that's why when we, whenever anything about Saturn or Capricorn comes up, it's mostly about business because business is all about systems and structures. But yes, of course, there are other ways that you can use business and structure, right? And so um, you will be challenged to set those things up in such a way that's helping you grow in whatever goals you're setting for yourself. Um, you will acknowledge your strengths and weaknesses and make changes where necessary and be careful for self-sabotage because there's a great opportunity here for self-sabotaging uh, wherever you have Pisces at, at in your chart. Um, we can find solutions to problems now that Saturn's direct. We'll be letting go of something. Um,
Oh, okay. So we're either letting go of something or spirits taking something out of your life. Um, you can have new spiritual awareness or again, your intuition is going to be on point or you'll be shown through synchronicities, signs, symbols, daydreaming, dreams, how things or why things played out the way that they did. You'll start to get a lot more clarity on what those things were playing out for you. And you'll realize, oh, wow, my spirit guys really, really are watching over me. Or again, it'll be like, oh, wow, you might not even realize that you accomplished like three or four goals to like seven or eight or nine or 10 other goals that you have where you're like, oh, shit, like this stuff really works, right? <laughs> it'll be a lot of awareness like that. On the world stage, um, the reason why this process is going to be so important is because institutions are dissolving businesses are dying. The world is going to change drastically because of that. And we will see the breakdown in society from the pandemic. The world is going to change, especially we'll see this big time in 2025, which is why I said plan more than just a year, a week, a month, or a day. Um, plan bigger, do bigger, go bigger, think bigger, because the world is going to change. And are you going to, Jupiter and Taurus, have the resources, the finances to be able to sustain yourself with all the things that are going to change? I think we're going to see a lot of laws and regulations changing around um, um, taxes. Well, again, I'll talk about that in the, in the Scorpio video. Um, if you're squeamish, you might not want to watch that video because I'm going to tell the truth. Scorpio told me to do so. Okay. <laughs> and it's not pretty. And this isn't about fear mongering. Again, this is more so about being educated. I've been warning you guys since 2020 though. So if you're here, you've done something right for sure. And I'm pretty sure a lot of things have also really truly fell apart, but it's meant to be that way. And so now it's about rebuilding and putting other things to replace the things that are gone. And that could be being brought into you as a gift from spirit. So um, be mindful of what you're watching on the internet, um, news and TV, because those things do create your reality as much as a lot of us may or may not think that. Um, but I'm telling you right now, Take responsibility for your actions and choices because Saturn's going to hold you accountable for that. Take control of your life and build new for the future because if you don't, then you can end up being in a bad spot come all these changes. Um, I mean, that's just the best way that I could say it. Um, what do you need to make these changes? Get prepared for the way that the world is gonna be come 2025. Remember, these people are not coming in here to play. Um, you got a lot of people who are running this country right now who really don't care about you. They only care about power and control. They're going to do anything to try to stay in power. I do think that's gonna be more technological based. And again, I'll talk about that in the Scorpio New Moon video. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share if you find this information helpful. But um, don't take this lightly, family. Um, things are going to come crashing down. And whenever that kind of stuff happens, it's flight or fight, flight or fight mode. Who are you going to be? You know, are you going to be the person that's prepared? Are you connected to the right people who can get you to a better place? Um, you know, you choose as usual, family. I love and appreciate you. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.